Hi everyone, this is Veronica Johnson and welcome back to my studio. Today for the Dear Jane quilt, we are going to be working on block K3, which is also called Seven Sisters. Now this block is actually going to be relatively simple, like the first two blocks in the K row. But this one is just a matter of getting the right measurements. Each of these little squares within this block measure half an inch. And so we see these squares are coming right across the diagonal and then we have a nine patch in the middle. They're all half an inch. And so then all of our widths for these rectangle pieces are also half an inch. So this will be pretty easy for getting this block together. When we look at the center here, we are going to need one, two, three, four of the center squares out of the main focus fabric cut at one inch. So we're going to get four of those cut at one inch. And then out of our background, we're going to be needing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen squares cut at one inch out of the background fabric. And then for each of these rectangles, we have four rectangles that are out of the main focus fabric. And those are all going to be one and a half inches long. So we need to actually cut them two inches by one inch. Then we go to the next outer section for these rectangles and these measure two and a half inches. So we'll be cutting these rectangles three inches by one inch. And once again, we have four of them out of the foundation fabric. Then we come to our final borders and our final borders, if you look on our block here, are out of the background or the muslin fabric. And so the final borders here will have two of them. Well, let me clarify something here. Um, the line drawing, I'm not sure why. I'm just trying to look closer at Jane's block. It's hard to tell up in this corner, but we've got this rectangle is one size and then these two are the same and then this one is a different size. So we're going to actually even that up. So this rectangle and this one, which will stop just here, um, they will both be three and a half inches. So we're going to cut those at four inches by one. And then these side ones, they'll be the full length of the block. So those will need to be four and a half inches. So we're going to cut them at five inches by one. So I'm going to get all the parts cut and get them all laid out so you can see what it looks like. For today's block, I've chosen as my main foundation fabric this very pretty blue. And then once again, for my background, I am using this muslin fabric. Now with this blue fabric, when you look at it, it is a directional print. So I'm going to have to make sure that when I'm cutting out these pieces, I know which direction my uh, pieces are being oriented. I could do it without really paying attention to that and then the pattern would just go all over which way. But for this one, I'm really feeling like I want it all to be in this direction, doesn't matter where it is. So I'll just have to pay, be aware of pieces that need to be cut lengthwise this way or widthwise this way. So let me go get my pieces cut and we're going to lay these out. I have all the pieces cut except for the outer border. I'm going to wait until I get the center part of this block done. Then I can measure it and just make sure that my strips for the outer border will be wide enough. Okay, so what do I have here? I have 13 of the one inch squares cut out of muslin. 
and I have four one inch squares cut out of my main focus fabric. Also out of the main focus fabric, I have four rectangles that are cut two by one inch and four rectangles cut at three by one inch. Now, if you remember when I was talking about my fabric, it's directional. So I'm going to lay out my fabric in the direction that it needs to be so that you can see all the direction of the print. That way it's easier to see which way everything goes. So there's the center. I'm going to add in these muslin squares here. Now don't worry, even though these aren't matching up, they will line up and match up once pieces are all sewn together. There, and I'm coming just barely off screen there, but here are all the pieces laid out in the order that they need to be to be sewn together. As pieces are sewn together, the center will, of course, shrink up so that they'll then line up with these. And so now what I'm going to do is draw my quarter inch stitching line on the back side of my pieces and start stitching everything together. I'm going to start with this nine patch in the center, get this sewn together, and then start working on the next parts. You can see now that once I've got this center nine patch stitched in, these little um, rectangles that are two inches long will now line up really well with each of these sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is sew these next sections into rows. So I'm shifting these a little bit. So what I'll do is sew these three pieces together and then these three together and then these three together. And with each piece, I'm going to make sure that I press my seams in the opposite direction so that they'll nestle up next to each other. I did that with this one. They are uh, stitched in opposite directions. It's just really hard to get that to lay flat with these bulky seams. So let's get these rows sewn together and then all three rows sewn into one big center unit. The next row has been sewn on to the center of this block and you can see it's coming together really well. Now we're going to do the same thing for this next row. So we're going to do each row, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Once again, each time you press the seams, press them so that they are opposite. So the middle will go one way and these other two will go the other way so that they'll all butt up really nicely together. So let's get these rows sewn together and then them all sewn into one unit. With my center portion of this block finished, I'm now ready to add that outer border. I've pressed the block and measured it and it measures to four inches exactly, which is right on track. So what I need to do is add a half an inch border all the way around. So the pieces are going to be cut one inch wide and one piece will be cut four inches by one inch. And I'll have two of those, so that'll be for two of the side pieces. And then the next two strips will be cut at one inch by five inches. And I'll sew those onto the other side. So let me cut those strips and we'll start sewing those on. The block is pressed and trimmed, and now it is complete. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of block K3, also called Seven Sisters. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below, or you can send me an email at soitseemscreations at outlook.com. 
If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and click that notification bell and you will be notified each time I upload a video, which is every Monday. This is Veronica Johnson with So It Seems, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>